Hey guys, Whitney here, and welcome to another part of The Sims 4 Get to Work Let's Play. So, I'm just having Patrick make up some fish tacos for dinner. And then I think tomorrow we're gonna have him and Tess go hang out at the store because I did change it up, guys. Um, I spent pretty much all the money that we got from selling all the household inventory items. I it was like f almost 5,000. It was 5,000 something simoleons and I used 5,000 of it to, <laughs> um, to redo the, the store. And honestly, you can't really tell. But it does look different. It is bigger and everything. So I think that that... I hope you guys will like it. It's kind of... It's more... Um, where I want it to go now like it looks more how I want it to look in the long run so I'm excited about that and uh, Lauren is out here doing some yoga because she is uh, feeling pretty tense so if you have her do a yoga routine she will calm down quite a bit which is nice um so anyways I'm gonna go have everybody grab a serving of this fish tacos and then I'm probably going to go ahead and skip to the morning and I will see you guys then. All right, guys. So it is the next morning. I just had Tess write a book overnight. Um, it was like a short stories book. So now she'll be making a little bit more in royalties every day. So that'll bring in some more money. Since that we're, that's what we're pretty much always trying to do. So <laughs> yeah, that'll be good. And everybody keeps using the bathroom and Tess seriously has to go. Like now. Oh God, she walked in on Patrick too. So she's just about like mortified right now. <laughs> She's embarrassed. He's not embarrassed anymore, but. All right, you're clean, you're clean. Let her go pee so we can go to the store. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and have them head over to the store. So let's go ahead and travel with Patrick. What is he doing? Oh, they're hiding from the world brother and sister hiding because of <laughs> because of Tess thanks Tess thanks a lot thank you so much um so yeah we're gonna go ahead and have them head over to the store she's naked what is that okay let's go ahead and go to Magnolia Promenade and we'll head on over to the store and I'll show you guys what it looks like you guys are gonna be like seriously that's the best you could do but honestly it was the best that I could do under the money because everything is just really expensive in The Sims 4 okay if you guys didn't know this pretty much The Sims 4 is one of the most expensive <laughs> like the most expensive Sims game ever like all the stuff in it just costs so much money but anyways um so this is the store now um yeah so it's <laughs> like no windows except for the front <laughs> but you know that will come over time at least now it's somewhat the shape I want it to be it'll eventually pretty much take up the entire like lot here and I'll probably change the colors and mix it up and make it look prettier on the outside but for now all I care about is really the inside and all of that so first of all you walk in here and I just put a little skull thingy here because I thought it was it just fit Tess I don't know, she kind of has that edgy vibe to me anyways. Um, so here it's just a brick wall like on the outside as well as here. And then we have two kind of like featured walls, I guess you could say. Like we have a purple wall here and a red wall over here and uh, some stone here where the windows are. And so this is going to be like the shopping side of the store. Uh, there's a little rug here that is custom content and it is amazing. Um, so this is where people are going to... I don't know, you know, browse for clothing and such. And I did make the lights. You can't really tell. Hold on. I'm going to go ahead and hop into night really fast, just so you guys can see what it really looks like. So it's kind of dim and dark, but that's kind of what I was going for. Kind of like an underground store kind of feel. I don't know. That's just how I wanted it to look. So there's a red light right here because I love that you can change the color of the lighting in um, The Sims 4. It's, I love that. So over here it's kind of red. In the middle it's just kind of, you know, um, orangish or something. <laughs> and over here is where the bakery is. They have a little cake sign thingy here and they have two uh, little 
uh, places to put their baked goods in. And I went ahead and took the cupcake machine from the house and I brought it here, changed the color. And uh, yeah, so this is gonna be the baking side of the store and this is gonna be the clothing side. I eventually do kind of wanna make a wall here, maybe add an upstairs and just make it really, really nice. I'm, I really do want to make it nice, guys. This, was, this all cost me 5,000 simoleons. I know it might seem hard to believe, but I swear it cost 5,000 simoleons just to do this. But I think it's definitely an upgrade from what we had. I think that we can all agree on that. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and come in here and I'm going to kind of uh, create the outfits for the uh, for the mannequins. So I'll go back to you guys once I'm done doing that. All right, guys, these are the outfits that I put them in for the men. I just, it's just kind of like a grungy kind of look. Uh, he has like the beanie hat with a necklace and just this um, like jacket on with a graphic t-shirt underneath and some ripped up jeans and some converse. And for the girl, um, she has this custom content plaid dress, shirt dress thing that I absolutely love. Like I love this dress so much. And she has a couple bracelets on and some leggings and uh, some military style boots that are also custom content. So very happy with how they look. It's definitely, the store is definitely coming along with how I wanted it to look. There's still a lot more to do, don't get me wrong, but it's just, it's the kind of store that I wanted, like this kind of grungy underground feel to it for me anyways. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and have Patrick actually come over here and cook up some vanilla cupcakes and some pastries. He'll make some cheap stuff, <laughs> powdered donuts and what else? Some cream tarts and some donut holes. And I'm gonna have Tess come over here and uh, let's see. Um, I'll have her set the store prices for normal and maybe we'll end up getting more money out of it. Um, just because I feel like right now we're wasting money pretty much. Uh, so I don't know what that is, but you best throw it away. All right. So Tess has, Tess has, Tess, what the heck? Patrick has made some cupcakes. We'll put those in there and we will set them for sale. And I believe these are already set for sale. Yeah, they are. All right. So, I mean, it costs about 175 simoleons to uh, restock them. And it says to buy them, it will be 219. So we will make some money, <laughs> but still not a whole heck of a lot. I'm just curious what the pricey would be. Pricey's 219. Mm, I don't know. So pricey would be what? 262. I'm really tempted, guys, because we're getting better and I mean, we'll try to set the prices for pricey just so we actually make some profit off of it. Um <laughs> just just so we we at least try. Um so right now we're op we're closed, but we're going to go ahead and open and put these in here and set them for sale. We are open for business. Where is my employee? Well, she will automatically come in, right? I forget if she will or not. <laughs> We're open. Come one, come all. They're all like, hell no, you too. You too expensive for the crap you got. <laughs> I think we're coming along pretty well, though. I actually really like the store. So it, it still has a lot of work to do, but all right. And we'll put the donut holes in there and these cream tarts, too. All right, and we'll set these all for sale as well. Oh, he can decorate them? Wait, wait, wait. He can decorate. <gasps> decorate them! Oh, wait, okay. There. Now decorate them. Because I've never seen this. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh, that's so cute. He puts like frosting and stuff on them. That is adorable. Oh, is he browsing some of the... Oh, they're, they're browsing the baked goods. Those are what's really, like, selling. Are you eating it? OMG. Do not yell at Patrick. I will seriously be so mad at you. Oh, he decorated them. Now they have, like, sprinkles on them. They have sprinkles. That's adorable. 
All right, we'll put those in there too, and we'll set those for sale. All right, and um, apparently we're just gonna eat our own merchandise because we're Tess, and that's what we do. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and try to answer questions. Um, what else can we do? There's our employee. She looks so thrilled to be into work today. Um, well, actually, Trevor gave her a citation because I'm pretty sure she beat up Sylvia in the last part. So, oh my gosh, we're, you guys, we're getting like all kinds of customers. <gasps> yes, yes, this is exciting. Oh, he's snooty. He's snooty. All right, so he should be um, suggesting options for her. And uh, what is she doing? Assign work task, ring up customers. Yes, ring up customers. And uh, let's see, discuss shopping preferences. And you work on your customer over here. Cause go ahead and greet him, cause he's gonna be so mad at you if you don't. Talk to him all, scream at him from across the room. That's wonderful. Wonderful customer service test. Ask about price range. And uh, discuss shopping preferences. All right, stop reading. <laughs> oh my gosh. Retail. Ask about price rate. Come on, buy something. You can do it. Oh, now she's looking at these tests. Oh my god, this is going to be crazy. Trying to like, like, having multiple areas in a store where people are wanting to buy clothes and baked goods. It's going to be hard to keep up, but I'm excited. This is, it's a lot of fun when it's harder. I know it sounds strange, but it is. <laughs> what choice? What value? I'm ready to buy when you get a chance to ring me up. Do it. Open base whips. Manage Kristen. Berate for slacking, but she's not slacking. Alright, she's gonna go ring him up. Yay, Kristen! I'm proud of you. We're actually doing really good today. Alright, we're all having like a group conversation, but I mean <laughs> like seriously, I'll ring up your customers, okay? Let's see. Um Oh, we are, we're earning perk points. So for perk points, these are the ones that we have. Uh, we have 270 points to spend. So we could get to the My First Simoleon. Unlocks a decorative wall object. Um, I'm not. No, we're not wasting our money on that. <laughs> Provocative pedestal. A stunning sign. We could do that. Uh, snazzy shirt. Unlocks an additional shirt for men and women that's ideal as an employee uniform. Mm. Unlocks the cash register. Perfect for use in modern upscale stores. Mm, I don't want any of that. I'm just looking through all of these really quickly, guys. Hold on. Um, I want to see what I can save up for, what I really want. Um, we can have an additional employee. Faster restocking. Uh, faster checkouts. Oh my god, so these are expensive. Cheaper restocking. That is what we need. Reduces the price of restocking items. We will save so much money if we do that. And the slick salesman, because they'll have a greater chance of buying something. Um, what else? Faster. Um, yeah, I want to get like all the expensive ones because <laughs> those are the ones worth getting, okay? So that's what we're going to save up for. Eventually, we'll have a thousand perk points. What choice? What value? Yes, Kristen, you got lots of work to do, girl. Lots of work. Oh, he purchased the outfit. Oh, boy, you look fly. Look at him. He's feeling himself. He's like, yes, I look amazing. He does. He looks pretty badass. I'll be honest. Yes, just do push-ups. You're so good at your job. And then she's going to purchase this outfit. And girl, you are going to look amazing. Trust me. She's dancing with mannequins. Literally right next to Kristen. Like, this would be the worst job. Worst person to work for ever would be Tess. That would be so irritating. Look how good she looks. Oh my gosh. Girl, you look amazing. Can I, like, compliment your outfit? <laughs> yes, I can. Go compliment her outfit. <laughs> yes, that is right. Awesome. Okay, have you have they bought any of the baked goods yet? <laughs> Cause that's what I really want you to do, lady. Answer questions and ask about price range. 
Oh, this lady's gonna buy stuff too. This is like really exciting. Let's go ahead and pick up some more pastries. We'll make some mm, plain muffins, I guess. All right, quit talking to her. And uh, help this customer. Greet her when you get a chance. All right, she's taking out the trash and she's very happy to be doing it. Um, <laughs> all right, and this guy's gonna be looking at stuff too. Oh, that's Kristen's brother. She's like, come on, man, buy something. Buy something. Greet these customers, dang it. All right, and set those for sale. Yes, yes, we can do this. We can do this, that's about price range, discuss shopping preferences. And I'm probably gonna close the store here pretty soon. All right, guys, so I'm closing the store now and uh, we made 54 simoleons in the end because we sold, look how much we sold. We sold like 524 in profit, but then we had to pay Kristen and then we had to like restock some stuff and it's just, yeah. So now we only made like 50, 50 simoleons. It's really, really sad. Um, <laughs> really sad we need to get some more employees in here so like uh, I don't know it's just it's frustrating guys it's really hard but I'm excited to really build it up and see where it goes look at her sleeping on the on the bench that they always sleep on <laughs> he's dancing with the mannequin he's not even crazy either and can I just say how much I love this neighborhood like it is so pretty like yes it is super tiny but like if they ever have kids or something, they can come and play on this playground while the parents are watching the store. And they have this li this lighted tree that I love and I wish that you could do that to all trees and have it like in your house. That would be amazing because I love that. Um, but yeah, so the store is definitely getting better. It's going to be a long uphill battle <laughs> till we actually make some decent amount of money off of it. But um, I'm excited and I think we're going to go ahead and wake her up. Go wake her up. Is he gonna like scream in her face? He's like, Tess, wake up. You crazy. She's like, oh, me? Sorry. All right, I think it's about time we ask her if she's single, even though we already know. <laughs> what is wrong with you? You're crazy. Oh, she's feeling flirty. <gasps> oh, oh, she wants to schedule a date. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Patrick, come on. Flirt. Flirt. He's so clumsy and awkward. Oh, yes, she is so into it. Yes, yes, we will. Uh, don't confess your attraction yet. Don't be, don't be, okay. Compliment her appearance. And what else? She's like, oh, thank you. Ooh, she's feeling flirty. Do a sexy pose. Oh. <laughs> it's probably gonna be so awkward. Just do it. She's like, uh -huh. yes, sexy. <laughs> Look at her. Oh, sorry. I'm like really excited about this, guys. Look, they ah, uh, they have a little romantic relationship now. Oh my gosh. What does he want to do? Level up in charisma. Really? That's what you're thinking about? Let's um, hmm. Uh, know what to do guys I'm so afraid I'm gonna like ruin everything okay let's offer her a rose oh so sweet all right she's like oh uh -huh. all right and let's see let's mm, oops that's him <laughs> let's flirt kiss her hands and compliment her appearance again. And <laughs> uh, let's see. We'll hold her hands. Oops. And embrace her. <gasps> oh. Finally, Patrick. It's about time. Ask to be girlfriend. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Confess your attraction. He's like, I've liked you since I met you. I didn't know how to tell you. I thought I was friend zoned. Am I? She's like, no. I feel the same way. Oh yay! Okay, give her give her a kiss. 
Give her a first kiss. <gasps> oh. Oh, that was adorable. She's like, yes. All right, it is 1 a.m. So I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and have them go home for the night. Um, yeah, that's what they're going to do. They're going to go home. And in the next part, I'm thinking it's date night for them. I think they should totally go on a date and all of that stuff. So I'm excited for that. We might also spend some time with Lauren at her job. I'm not really sure if she works tomorrow or not. I don't know. We'll see. But that is it for this part. I hope you guys liked it. We finally got Tess Rick. They finally... <laughs> since that's like their ship name, I guess. Uh, I don't know. So they finally hit it off and he finally confessed his feelings for Tess and I'm really excited to see where all of this is going to go. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me and I will see you guys next time. Bye!